Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas. I want to say we are on day six and today we'll be going over my Christmas list. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I have been going through this journey of trying to internally heal my body inwards and then of course outwards. And so a lot of the Christmas list items that I have this year are really based around helping me become the best version of myself in 2024. So let's go ahead, let's dive right in. I did break it out into categories. Here are some of the top things that I am hoping I get underneath the Christmas tree this year. Starting with one of my favorite categories, electronics. Now, I recently got an iPad, so I would like an iPad desk holder, but not just any holder. I want the holder where one, the top part of the holder can move up and down. I want it to be able to go like at least 180 degrees back and forth because sometimes I want to write down as if I'm writing on paper and then sometimes I want to hold it up straight where I can just write like this and so I really need an iPad desk holder that gives me that at the top but also at the bottom of the base of the iPad desk holder and so that way I can lower it all the way down and write as if it's on paper as well. So I am very particular on the type of desk holder I would like. I found it on TikTok shop as well as on Amazon. I'm gonna link both because sometimes the prices are better on one platform than the other. The second electronic thing that I am hoping for is the AirPod Max holder. Now, I don't have any AirPod Maxes. If you've been following me, you know that I wear the TikTok shop dupes. And so I truly love these headphones they're lightweight they don't give me a headache they are made out of plastic they are very cheap i think they're about 20 dollars right now on the tiktok shop but i am loving them i wear them every day and i've had them for more than 120 days and they have not broken they are perfect i can speak through them they have bluetooth capabilities and everything but because they're not true uh, AirPod Maxes, they don't have a case. And so I would like a carrying case, just so I can, again, get that overall aesthetic of what the AirPod Maxes give without having to break the bank. So I would like a case for my AirPod Max dupes. I'll link the case as well as the dupes below. Again, they are amazing. And for me, that's all for electronics. I purchased my own DJI Pocket 3. That'll be arriving in like two days. I got my iPad. And so those are my top things that I would have wanted for electronics. And of course, I film on my Canon M and I have several lenses already. So I think that's gonna top off my electronics for the 2024 year. Now let's go into my office for 2024. So we are going to move. We're currently in a two bed, two bath. We're gonna be going to a three bed, two bath. So I am gonna have my own office. So now that I'm gonna have my own office, I would like a new office desk. Of course I have this one. Ignore all of the mess that you see here. Just nod and smile. It is an amazing desk. It's um, electronic desk. It has charging ports so I'm able to charge directly from my desk my phone and my ipad without having to plug it into the wall so i do really love that i love that i can just raise it up and i can set the settings in place so it just raises up and i could just put my walking pad underneath however because i'm going to this third bedroom this third bedroom is going to be the room for everybody like even though it's going to be my office when my in-laws come it's going to become the spare bedroom when we get pregnant it's gonna become a nursery as well. And so because this room has to pretty much be several different rooms in one, I would like a piece of furniture for a desk that allows the functionality for the room to transform. And so I would like one of those Wayfair like Murphy desks where you can slide it in and slide it out. That way when we have guests over and we need to pull out their bed, it can just go up against the wall and just house things on top but it doesn't take up any space in the room as well as when we add a crib we'll have enough space for a day bed a crib and a desk simply because the pieces of furniture will be more functional because it can slide in and out now this desk does cost about 500 dollars, i believe so it is on my list but at the end of the day, if it doesn't come, hopefully I can get it within the first quarter of 2024. Also, since I am getting a new office, I would like some wallpaper. We've painted the walls here, I think for the next place. I'm still gonna paint the bedroom wall 
since I have paint left over and you guys really love my wall colors. But for the office, I'm thinking about going with that grass cloth look wallpaper feel. And so I would like some new wallpaper for the office. And I've always gone with pompous grass or some type of just shrub, fake shrub in the office or in my home. I think for the office, I would like to go with some silk tulips. I saw those on the, I saw those on Amazon and I would really like those as well, just to decorate my desk. Now for self care, I would like a lot of different things. Okay, I've already purchased a lot already and we'll cover that. At the end of this video, I'll cover all of the things I've already purchased. But what's left on my list for self care is going to have to be the higher dose red light mask that's the first item that mask is going to be about three hundred dollars and i need red light like i know that there's a nice filter on my skin right now and it looks amazing but trust me i have a lot of pores i have a lot of inflammation hence why i look so swollen and this red light is going to be able to detoxify and pierce through and really slim down my face overall reduce the and the aging that's taking place as well as just minimize those pores altogether so i'm looking forward to adding to my list and hoping that someone gets it for me. My next thing that I would like for self care is going to be the higher dose infrared sauna blanket. I have a sauna at my gym, but it's not infrared. And from what I hear, even though the sauna at my gym is giving me that increase in sweat and burning of fat, the infrared is what really detoxifies the body and reduces the inflammation. Because I have a huge amount of inflammation going on throughout my body, I would like to have the infrared blanket so I can weekly go in at home, maybe weekly or two times a week where I can just lay down at home, relax, and intentionally work on detoxifying my body from the inside out. And now that blanket is almost $600, so it is pretty pricey. So it's on the list, but again, I'm not sure if anyone's gonna get me that, so it'll be on the list for a while, but in 2024, these are two big purchases that I will end up making if no one gets me my gift. Now for the category home, some of the items that I would like for Christmas would be a new rug. Um, we do not have a rug in our room currently, and I'm thinking about putting a rug in the living room. Now I found some good ones on Amazon that are reasonably priced that I am keeping my eye on, as well as possibly even changing out our couch. We love our living room couch, but we've had it for three years. It's just one of those, I think I'm ready for something else. And so I am putting a new couch on the list. I am not gonna purchase this if no one gets it for me because I do plan on pitching a lot of brands. Since my bedroom set was furnished through the TikTok shop, nine times out of 10, I'll put a new couch on the list. Something like this, I'll drop a picture in and then I will pitch a brand to get it for free if no one buys it for me. Since I am on this journey of cleaning myself up and really detoxifying my body and my home, I would love a new set of pots and pans. The Careway pans are about $500, so they are on my list. I don't know if anyone's gonna get them for me. I'm kind of kicking myself that they, I didn't have it on as a wedding gift, but this is one of the items that I would love. I am not gonna purchase these. I am going to wait to see if someone buys them for me and if they do not, I will be pitching the brand to do a UGC deal so I can get them for free. The next item that I would love for my home is an air purifier. Again, just trying to overall balance and detoxify the home as much as possible. We do not currently have an air purifier here and I noticed that my son does tend to wake up with um, a sore throat from time to time and so I would really like to just start cleaning out the air of our new home once we move. The next item I would like for the home is going to be the Nutribullet, the Pro one that's like 900 watts or something that is in the white color. I do tend to make a lot of protein smoothies. I've had my current Nutribullet since maybe 2015. It is old. I am due for a new one. Of course, an aesthetically pleasing one would be even more chef's kiss. And so um, that is on my list. I would love to upgrade my Nutribullet so that when I'm making my protein shakes, I can just, I don't even wanna say get a better shake because really it's the same thing. I guess just have a new appliance because mine is old. 
and I will just like a new one honestly I can't even justify why I need this aesthetically pleasing one but I want it and last but not least for the household I would like a day bed again because I will be having a third bedroom I saw this one on Ikea where it's a day bed but it actually pulls out into a king bed and I would really like to add that to the office so that way I have my functional desk that opens and closes I have a day bed that's there so it's not taking up too much space when it's not in use and that way when guests do come they can just un they can just roll it out turn it into a king bed I can push the desk in and now they have a full-on room to use so this is something else I would like I want to say it's close to $500 so again it's on the list but I will not be purchasing it. I will be trying to get a UGC deal for this so that way I do not have to spend my own money if Santa doesn't put it underneath my Christmas tree. And that pretty much sums up my Christmas list. Now I do wanna cover some of the items I already purchased or items that have already been sent to me by brands so I was able to remove them from my Christmas list. A brand recently sent me an electric vacuum. It is cordless, I am loving it. I'm able to vacuum my car which is downstairs in the garage of my apartment complex i'm able to do my baseboards and so much more the fact that it's cordless is just amazing and the fact that i didn't have to spend 500 dollars like a dyson it's less than a hundred dollar vacuum on the tiktok shop and i am loving it this was truly an amazing christmas gift i thought i needed a dyson but they sent me this and I am very happy. I stated earlier I got an iPad so I am loving that. Um, the reason why I wanted an iPad this time around is because just again trying to detoxify and reduce the stress and inflammation I am trying to pull away from working on my cell phone as a content creator and so now that the iPad does Final Cut Pro I will be editing all of my content all of my short films and so forth on my iPad and so I got an iPad and an iPad pencil as well as the paper covers to go on top so it feels like paper and a case and overall I'm loving all of it. It was definitely an investment but every year at the end of the year I usually buy a really big electronic and so that was one of my big purchases this year for Black Friday as well as the DJI Pocket 3. I also got sent a mobile desk. I'm loving it. It allows me to work from anywhere so I can work on my balcony. I can work on my couch. I can work in my bed. I can work in the kitchen. It's truly giving me the flexibility and helped me diversify working from home so I'm not just working from my desk anymore. I'm able to work throughout the house and I truly love it. It's amazing. It was one of the best gifts that brands have sent me this year and it was on my Christmas list but not anymore. Because I am working from so many different places in the house now because of the mobile desk, one of the other items that I did end up purchasing was a portable keyboard. Even though I have one for my actual desk, being able to work from the balcony or the kitchen or living room, I didn't want to have to pull this big keyboard that I use on my desk. And so having one that just folds up, that's compact, even if I go to coffee shops, just being able to take that nice little portable keyboard with me if I'm working from my iPad is just amazing. And I'll make sure to link that below. Um, they come in pink and I want to say black. They do not come in white, which is the color I did want. So just be on the lookout for that. If they do come out with a white one, I would love it. But the pink one will suffice in the meantime. And I also got a nutter because again, just trying to detoxify and remove all of the processed foods out of my life. I am making my own coconut milk and almond milks now. And so the brand Nutter sent me a Nutter to be able to make my own milk and I'm loving it. I also got some glass jars from Amazon so I can store my milk. So those are working out amazing and really helping me to consume foods that are more natural, doesn't have any preservatives or chemicals, and overall will help me on this journey of becoming the best version of myself from the inside out. And last but not least would be my coffee shop purses. I did get some coffee shop purses sent to me from the TikTok shop. 
I like to work from home as well as other locations and I can't stand having to carry around an ugly backpack. And so I wanted a new bag or several bags. And so they sent me these leather bags and they hold everything from my tumbler to my iPad, to my laptop, to all of my pens, cameras, you name it. They are the perfect bag. They're very durable and they look so amazing, especially with my puffer jacket and my usual ensemble with my leggings and my fake Lululemon jacket. Those are all of the items that I had listed for Christmas and all the things that I have either already purchased or have been sent to me. I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope I gave you guys some ideas, some things that you can add to your list. I know Christmas is right around the corner, but if you have Amazon, you can definitely still get some of these right away. If you're getting them from the TikTok shop, it will take about seven to 10 business days. So hurry up, use the links, and you guys can thank me later. I'll see you tomorrow as we cover last minute Christmas gifts that you can still get that are less than $50.